In this video, we discuss the acid-base properties of water. Okay, generally, water is going to be the solvent in all of our acid-base chemistry, but it turns out that water itself uh, can also behave as both an acid and a base. In fact, there is an equilibrium uh, for water which we can draw like this. Water is liquid, and the acid-base equilibrium is one in which it dissociates to a proton, and it dissociates to hydroxide. So if we retake the Arrhenius definition of what an acid and a base is, um, an acid is something that provides protons when put in solution. A base is something that provides hydroxide ions when put in, put in solution. Well, it turns out that water can do both, and that's why it's called an amphoteric substance. All right, so something that is important uh, is to recognize what the equilibrium constant for this uh, uh, dissociation process is, and that uh, will be the following. Notice that that will be the concentration of products or the activity of products, which we're replacing by more concentrations and we're not divided by the reference states anymore. And then you have this divided over the activity of reagents, but notice that because you have a pure liquid, that activity is one. So this is actually the equilibrium constant for the auto dissociation equilibrium of water. Okay, this uh, receives a value of K sub W just to make sure that that's the auto dissociation uh, value for water. Okay, so uh, we actually know this, this value quite well. Uh, this value is 1.0010 to the minus 14 at 25 Celsius. And this value will become very important as we move forward in our study uh, of acid based chemistry. Okay, so if you have pure water, distilled water at 25 Celsius, then with this value of the equilibrium constant, you can calculate right away what the concentration of protons and hydroxide would be. Right? Uh, notice that the concentration of protons and hydroxide should be exactly the same. Uh, if you have pure water, you will have exactly the same amount of each. Uh, what that means is that you have an equation that is x squared equal to 1.00 10 to the minus 14 at equilibrium. And what that means is this x, which is the concentration of protons, and also the concentration of hydroxide, is going to be equal to 1.0. Oh, 10 to the minus 7 more for each. Okay, so these are the uh, acid-base properties of uh, water. Again, water can behave both as an, as an acid and as a base. Now, uh, again, this property is called, uh, uh, well, substances that have this property that can behave both as acids and as bases, they're called amphoteric. And there are some other types of, of amphoterics that we're going to uh, see. Another example will be the ion a hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate, right? So this ion can also act as an acid and a base. Okay, so if it's an acid, when it behaves an as an acid, it provides protons in solution. Okay, so that would be the equilibrium that um, explains the acidity of hydrogen carbonate. At the same time, hydrogen carbonate can act as a base and accept a proton. Okay. So uh, you will be able to accept this proton and then generate uh, carbonic acid. Right, so towards the end of this chapter, in just a few videos, we will see uh, how to treat uh, the acid-based processes of amphoteric substances like hydrogen carbonate. Again, water is, is the textbook exemplar for what an amphoteric substance is.